In 2006, I met a young gentleman named Daniel Michelle, who was uh, visiting the U.S. from Haiti, and uh, we met him at the airport to get something to eat, and I think my wife asked him, Daniel, what's your heart for Haiti? And he said, I'd like to open a school in my village. At that time, it was 12 kids and, uh, and one uh, teacher, and it was something that was very doable, so we started a school in Haiti. And within the first year, we had over 100 students and seven teachers. In 2009, there were four hurricanes that went through and did an awful lot of damage, especially in mudslides. And uh, we found that a lot of our children were not eating. And so we decided to add lunches every day for these children. And uh, this year, we've provided over 50,000 lunches to the children in the three schools. In 2012, we had the opportunity to take over a school in a mountain village called Sweet Petite Mary. We have built an additional classroom to house the additional students. And we also built a bathroom building with, uh, with four bathrooms, which is uh, unique in that mountain community. And then uh, in 2013, we had an opportunity to take over a small school uh, that is in a Nazarene church that uh, they had no funding to maintain and continue the church. And uh, in uh, September of this year, we'll be opening our fourth school in Calico, which is a great school that has electricity and indoor plumbing, which is a rarity in Haiti. Our first school, the original school in Moe, is completing their eighth year of operation. These children are great kids and the difference that you're making in their lives is significant. All of this would not have happened and will not continue to happen without your generous support. And we thank you for that. God bless.